Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is the first video explaining soft motion and we will start step by step. So we are using codices and we will show soft motion on real hardware. So you will see a drive motor, it's displayed on the lower right corner. And let's start immediately. So what you can see is that I already created a project. I have my Raspberry Pi and it has automatically added all the IOs that can be connected to Raspberry Pi. However, we need to now add our device. We are using a servo drive on EtherCAT. First of all, let's add device. All vendors, EtherCAT, EtherCAT Master Soft Motion. When we added this device, we need to select which Ethernet MAC address he will use and he will use Ethernet port which is on the Raspberry Pi. I am connected to the RIS Raspberry Pi or VLAN. We say OK and let's download this configuration to our Raspberry Pi. Now when we download we will automatically log out. We just want this EtherCAT master that it's downloaded that we can use it in scanning our EtherCAT. So this is exactly what we will do. Log out, right click, scan for devices and he already finds the drive. Now this drive is almost or technically it is in out of the box condition. So all the parameters are in factory settings. We copy this to a project and we log in. Do you want to make changes? Yes. Just that we see, can we go online? Is everything green? And do we have any data update on the channel? Let's run. Looks good so far. Soft motion axis is green. So let's see IO mapping. We see that we have certain data already on this device. Now let's log out. Next step that we will do is we will use only this EtherCAT task. If we open it, we see it's four milliseconds, which is exactly the same like on EtherCAT cycle time of distributed clock. So this is mandatory that we have synchronization active. Furthermore, we will not use main task, so technically we can delete it. And PLC PRG program we will use in our EtherCAT task. We will also change one thing. We will not enable watchdog for the moment and we will set it to highest priority. It was already highest priority, but just in case we have some other task, this task should be on a highest priority. Now let's see our IO update on our axis and on our drive. If we go on drive, mapping, it's in bus cycle time updated, which is okay. Axis, use parent, which it is, but let's say that we want to really focus on EtherCAT task. In future I will explain why this is important but for now we just want to run the drive. So we will for the moment close everything and focus on our program. Now here is where fun begins. I will not focus on now copying paste some piece of program but I will try to develop some program and I will show you how it's done. So first of all usually we are talking about a machine when we use a soft motion, that means that even your PLC program needs to have some kind of a state machine. And that's why we will start with the state machine. So in structural text, it's fairly easy to create a state machine. You use case. Case, I, let's put I, state, off, and let's shift. F2. We want this to be integer with initialization 0 and we say 0. We will put also 10. 
what we want to do in zero in the first initial step we want to do some initialization so let's call our program in it we will add another structural text action okay and let's say we also need one object we will be called where we will call our plc open function blocks in this particular example we'll only focus on mc power motion fbs okay now we what we want is also to change the state and call our actions so in it we call here and then we will automatically change the state. And in 10, we will call our motion FBs. So here we will do some initialization and here we will call our motion function blocks. So here we can also choose do we want to call something else or we can also add certain description. Let's say any session and here call of our motion FBs. Here we will call our motion function blocks and for the moment the main point is to call MC power. So what MC power does is enables the drive. On the screen, small screen, you can see that the drive is in ready state. So technically this drive is ready to be switched on and MC power will change the state from ready to run and we can feel the torque on the motor. So let's call MC power. First, we need to create an instance. So, Shift F2. We say MC Power Axis 01, which and the type is MC Power. Okay. Now we have an instance of our function block. Now let's call it in our motion function blocks. F2 instance call MC power. Let's make it a bit nicer. So one thing is mandatory that we select here the axis and we say it's for axis 0, 1, but our axis is called SM drive either cat Schneider electric something. So we can change this axis 0, 1. Do you want to automatically adapt all the reference? Yes. Okay. And for axis we say axis 0, 1. Now, one thing is that you don't want to call this function block in every single state. We saw that we have some time before our axis is actually starting to work after we reboot or we download the new project. So we want to execute this function block only after communication is already started and axis is ready. There is a very nice bit that you can use for this condition. So let's say if axis 0, 01 dot b communication then add if now let's add one visualization for easier maneuvering through our project. When we add a visualization, Codices usually adds a web visu. We will not use a web visu, so immediately we will delete this part of the project. Okay, it's done. 
web visa we don't need it only occupies additional processing power so we only have visualization in visualization we have already predefined objects for our mc power we select the frame we search for mc power and i would recommend to use this one not the new one new one is just fancy looking existing one double click on it okay and we have our mc power visualization in references we need to dedicate function block which will use this visualization and this is our function block in the application okay we confirm with enter and more or less we are ready to load this project and check if we can communicate with our drive again but also if we can run it if we run okay so far so good looks okay and it's running we see here the communication is true we are in state 10 so we are calling this function block that means that we should be able to run our drive first we need to enable our function block then we need to enable B drive start. This is, it's not a really a safety feature, but it enables a quick stop inside the drive. And if we hit B regulator on, in this right lower corner, you should see the drive changes to run. And here it is, drive is running. So this is as fast as possible to have at least some kind of um, running drive just to see how communication works and can you actually run a drive without any error and so on. In next video we will cover more function blocks, moving and administrative function blocks like MC reset, move velocity, read axis error and we will see what can we do. So thank you for this video and see you in next one. Bye.